So guys, what do you want to do today? Well, before we start, I just wanted to show everybody this comment from Lucas Coleman 5454. He says, "Upload Corella Deville's cigarette smoke problem, please." I like that he says "upload" as if we've already filmed it, but we're just keeping it to ourselves. And he says, "Please" with two question marks, like he's begging, like he really, really needs us to make this happen for him. Uh, listen, Lucas, buddy, we've never used Cruella Deville in any video before, so we would have to introduce Cruella Deville and introduce that she has a cigarette smoking problem and make a whole video about that, which I guess we could do, but everybody would be pretty confused and they would probably be a little bit upset with us. So I don't really know how to tell you this, but I, I don't really think that's going to happen. I mean, if you want to see Cruella Deville's cigarette smoke problem, I guess we could maybe upload that on a different channel because it'll probably be demonetized. But otherwise, sorry, Lucas, I, I don't think that's going to happen for you. So what do you guys want to do today that isn't Corella Deville's cigarette smoking problem? Well, I think your phone's ringing, Cody. Oh, you're right. I'm going to go answer it. Uh, 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 Junior, uh, Macy's is calling about Ken's Christmas present. That says Timmy. Uh, Timmy is my sales associate from Macy's, so could you please take Ken in the other room? Why can't Ken listen? Well, I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. It's not like he can hear. His ears are plastic. No, he has real human ears, Joseph. Uh, Junior, please. Okay. <sighs> What's up, babe? Hey, Cody. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, shriveled up and to the left with dried saliva on it. Ooh, how about a little bit of fresh saliva? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll be over in a little while. Okay. Okay, Junior, you can go back in with Ken. I don't know why I had to take Ken out of the other room. Well, I don't want him to know about his Christmas present. So Ken does not know about Timmy. What? Well, who's Timmy? Oh, oh, you mean Timmy from Macy's? Oh, I already told Ken about Timmy. Yeah, remember? Remember Timmy? He's the one who gives me a huge discount. Like a really big discount. So you don't want him to know about it? What, no, because I don't want him to find out about his Christmas present. Look, if we're going to keep talking about this, you have to take him out of the room again. <sighs> what? Junior, don't throw him. He has a herniated disc in his back. How does he have a herniated disc? From playing football? He doesn't play football, dude. He's a doll. He's not a doll, Joseph. He's all American. No, he's all plastic, dude. He's made in China. Wait, Cody, so you're cheating on Ken with Timmy? Well, I'm not cheating on him. I just like to spend time with Timmy. Why? Because he's an actual human being that breathes? Well, they're both human beings, Joseph. It's just that Timmy and I have a spiritual connection. I think we're the same sign. What, gay? Well, yes, Joseph, and I think our moons are in the same phase or some shit. So if you like Timmy so much, why don't you just break up with Ken? Well, I can't break up with Ken. We're soulmates. Okay, then stop talking to Timmy. Well, I... Look, I'll just figure it out, okay? Can you just go get Ken off the floor? Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry, Ken. I don't know why Junior threw you like that. I'll give you a back massage later. Hey, Cody! What the fuck? Hey, Timmy, what, what are you doing here just walking in like that? What about Ken's hernia to disc? Shut up. So what's up, Timmy? What the hell? Well, you were taking so long, plus my parents are home, so I figured I'll just come over. Oh, okay, great. That's fine. Is everything okay, Cody? No, oh, I'm good. I am just peachy. Hey, Timmy, you know Cody loves a doll? He loves a doll? Uh, no, no, no. He, he's saying Adele wrong. I love Adele. Oh my god, like rolling in the deep? Yeah, yeah. No, he has a doll that he kisses. He kisses Adele? N no, uh, Timmy, can you go wait in the other room? I have to call Macy's about your Christmas present. Oh my god, Macy's? Okay. Joseph, what the fuck? Dude, you're making him mad weird. Just tell him about your stupid doll. Yeah, tell Timmy about Ken. I'm not gonna tell him about Ken. Well, he needs to know about your stupid G.I. Joe. <laughs> G.I. Joe. He wishes. If you tell Timmy about Ken, he's not gonna care, I promise. Really? You think so? Yeah, he's not gonna care about your stupid doll. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I'll tell him. Hold on, Junior. Before I go talk to Timmy, I gotta check on the eggs in my hatchery. Eggs in your hatchery? What are you talking about? I'm playing Dragon City, Junior. What's Dragon City? <laughs> you don't know what Dragon City is? <laughs> you lump. You fucking mook. What is Dragon City? <sighs> You're really gonna make me go over to the green screen, aren't you? Okay. Hey, guys. I want to tell you about this awesome game I've been into called Dragon City. It's a world filled with dragons where you get to be the boss. With over 1,000 unique dragons, you can collect, hatch, and evolve your own dragon empire. It's like having your own dragon dragon zoo full of your little dragon minions. Also, you're not just raising dragons, you're building their home, creating a city with magical habitats, cool buildings, and you can even customize the decorations. It's like being an architect and a dragon trainer all in one. For those who love a challenge, you can jump into PvP battles, test your dragon's strength against other dragon masters, and climb the leaderboard to try to be number two, since I'll be number one. <laughs> 
Also, each of your dragons have special skills and abilities. Unleash them in quests and events like Wizards Hollow, where you have to use your big brain to win. And they have multiplayer. You can jump into a community of players where you can trade dragons and even join alliances for exclusive rewards. You can also check out what other people have built. You should check this game out too. Download Dragon City now by clicking the link in the description or scanning this QR code. And hey, you'll get a special bundle to kickstart your journey. 15,000 food and 30,000 gold and a super rare spaceship dragon! Don't miss out! Here you go, Junior. Play you some Dragon City. I'll go talk to Timmy. Okay! <laughs> uh, hey, Timmy. Oh, hey, Cody! Look what I wrote! Oh, wow, that, that, that is something. So you think we're dating, right? About that. So I was thinking that maybe today we could officially become boyfriend and boyfriend. Ah! Oh. Isn't that so exciting? Yeah, well, can we add another boyfriend to that? W what, what do you mean? Uh, well, Timmy, I'd like to introduce you to someone. This is Ken. Cody, who the hell is that? Well, we've been dating since about 2014. Are you freaking serious right now? You've been dating for nine years and you were just gonna leave me in the dark about it? Well, that's why I'm telling you now before things get too serious. So you were just keeping it a secret that you were dating this beautiful, chiseled up human being? But, but I still care about you too, though, Timmy. If you care about me, then prove it. Choose right now. Me or him. Uh, uh, Choose. I don't know. Make your uh, choice. I've just been with Ken for so long. Okay. I understand. You know what, Cody Philip Nutkiss? You broke my heart. <laughs> but my middle name's not Philip. I don't know where you got that from. Philip on these nuts. <laughs> oh, damn. Well, I told Timmy. I guess it didn't go well because I heard Timmy yelling at you. Yeah, he was pretty upset. Wait, he's mad at a doll, dude? Well, he knows Ken's not a doll. Oh, so he's delusional too. You guys are perfect for each other. Well, I knew we were perfect for each other, but Ken and I are perfect for each other too. So how did Ken react when he saw your side piece? Oh, he won't stop yapping. I keep telling him I chose you over Timmy. You won. You get the Cody peen. God, but he just won't shut up. No, he doesn't really work at Macy's. Yes, that was a lie. God. Yes, you are still getting a Christmas present. Jesus, do you hear this guy? He's speaking Japanese. Oh, well, I mean, are you happy with your decision? Are you happy you chose Ken? Well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's Ken. I mean, just just look at those abs. You know, just, just heat them up. Yeah, 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 I'm happy. Just, just distract me with something, okay? I don't want to talk about this. Okay, well, Chef Pee needs me to do my chores, so you guys can help me vacuum and suck up all suck! the- Suck! Talk about something else. Okay, well, um, there's a documentary on black holes. They suck up- Suck! Stop, stop saying suck so much. Okay, well, there's this video on Joey Chestnut, how he eats a lot of hot dogs. No hot dogs. No, no, everything just reminds me of Timmy. Boo-hoo-hoo. Why are you crying like that? Boo-hoo. It's getting sad. Boo-hoo. <laughs> I really love Cody. I really do. He just doesn't feel the same. I'm such a fool. I just wish he knew everything I do to show him that I really love Cody. He doesn't feel the same about me. I wish I could make him choose me. I am heartbroken I'm feeling so lonely I just wish that Cody would Actually love me Shut the fuck up! Sorry, father. Oh, I love sniffing Sharpies, dude. Me too, it's the best smell ever. Guys, I'm getting really tired of sniffing Sharpies. What? Cody, you love sniffing Sharpies! I know, but I'm starting to get a headache. Well, smell the orange one. It smells like a Sharpie. No, it smells like oranges. No, it smells like a Sharpie. 
This one smells like green apple. No, they all smell the same. Cody, what's wrong? I don't know. I'm just thinking a lot about Timmy. Well, you wanted Ken, right? Well, yeah, but I also want Timmy. I want his cake and I want to eat it too. Well, what is... Timmy offer that Ken can't do. Well, Ken's just not a throat goat. A what? You know, a throat goat, a glizzy goblin, a sword swallower. Well, can Ken ever become one of those? No, look at that mouth. It's too small. It'll never work. Well, why don't you ask Timmy if you, Ken, and him can be in a throuple? A what? A throuple, like, you know, where all three people date. What, that can happen? Yeah, it's called being in a poly... A poly... A, poly, a, a parallelogram relationship. Y you mean a polyamorous relationship? That! Oh, that would be really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ask Timmy if he'd be okay with that. <laughs> sob! 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 Hey, Timmy. Cody! What are you doing here? You can't just walk into someone's house! Well, you just walked into Junior's house earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, what do you want, you slut? <laughs> are you trying to make me mad, or are you trying to get me back in the closet? It depends on what you say next. So, what is it you wanted to tell me? Well, uh, hold on. Damn, you gotta give me a minute. Oh, okay, so I have a proposal. Oh my god, you're proposing? No, 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 not like that, but I do have an idea. Okay, so take a good look at Ken here. What would you rate him on a scale of 1 to 10? Oh, that's easy, a 10. Right? He's a total 10. So, what if you and me both dated Ken together? Is... Is that allowed? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. But, but father says that a relationship should only be between a man and a woman. Well, look, we already broke that rule, so why not break one more? Okay! So we're cool now? It depends. Is the closet door open? Hell yeah, it is. I am sore. Hey, Cody, are you and Timmy friends again? Oh, I'd say we're more than friends. What would you say you are? Well, I would say I'd like to thank Dragon City for sponsoring this video. Click the link below to check them out now. So are you like more than friends or friends? Um, we're, we're, um, we're banging. So Marvin, what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? I was thinking we could make a big old pot of green beans. Ugh. We open like eight cans of green beans and pour it in a pot and put a little bit of salt and pepper, but mostly green beans. Marvin, no one likes green beans. But they're healthy for you and Jeffy needs to eat healthy if he wants to live long. Why don't we ask Jeffy what he wants to eat? Because he's gonna want like pizza or ice cream or something. Ooh, pizza and ice cream sound good. But that's unhealthy, baby. He needs to eat healthy, but I guess we can ask him. Jeffy, get in here. Um, what do you want, Daddy? I was, I was about to do something. What do you want for dinner tonight? Oh, I want a big old bucket of cheese balls. But you're not gonna eat cheese balls for dinner, Jeffy. Why? I like cheese balls. They're just balls with cheese on them. Yeah, that's what I get if I don't shower for three days. That's gross, Jeffy. Look, you're not eating cheese balls. You need to eat green beans. I hate green beans, Daddy, and you know this. I want cheese balls. Well, you're not eating cheese balls. You take your hand off that lid. You do not take that lid off. You put that lid back on. You do not grab, do you, you, put, you, put that, you put that cheese ball back. You put that cheese ball back. You don't, don't you put that cheese ball in your mouth. I told you that. I hate green beans. You need green beans. Green beans are healthy. Cheese balls aren't healthy. Cheese balls aren't healthy. You feel better? That make you feel better? Daddy, I think I lost my voice. You lost your voice? Good. I don't have to hear your voice anymore. No, Daddy, it really hurts. Well, I don't care. Marvin, we need to call a doctor. What if he hurt his throat box? He did not hurt his throat box. Voice box? Yeah, that. Throat box? Okay, it's called a voice box, but not a throat box. We need to call a doctor. Okay, fine, we'll call a doctor. It really hurts. Hey there, someone call a doctor? What What is going on here? I don't know what's going on with that, but my son Jeffy, he lost his voice. He went, uh, too hard. What, he did what? He went, uh, too hard. He went, uh, what is, uh? I, I don't know, it's, it's a sound he makes, but he went, uh, too hard. Well, was he trying to poop? Trying to poop? Well, sometimes when I'm constipated and I try to poop, I go, uh, to like push it out, you know? I, I don't think he's trying to poop. Is that what you're trying to do? Uh. He's trying, apparently that's what he's trying to do. Okay, so he lost his voice doing that? Yeah, he, he can't talk. I try to talk, Jeffy. No, I, I can't talk. See, he's making that noise when he tries to talk. Hmm, okay. Let me get in there and take a look. All right, kid, open your mouth. Uh -uh. What, 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 does he not want me to help him? Or? Jeffy, open your mouth. Uh -uh. Don't do this. Uh -uh. Just open your mouth. Uh -uh. I can't really see in there. Could you open your mouth wider? Uh -uh. Oh, wow. Okay, he can dislocate his jaw like a snake. That's cool. Uh, wait, wait a minute. He doesn't have a throat, but 
This is a puppet. A puppet? Yeah, he's just a puppet. So I don't think he lost his voice. I think the guy playing the puppet lost his voice. Wait, so Lance lost his voice? Yeah. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, Lance, what's wrong with your voice? Why does it sound like that? I lost it when I did the really big uh, noise. Well, go get a cough drop or drink some water. We got to finish the video. I don't think we can finish the video. We're going to have to cancel filming. Cancel filming? Uh, We've never done that ever. We can't do that. The fans will get mad if we cancel filming. Logan, I'll voice Jeffy. Elena, you can't voice Jeffy. You only play like one character. Hey, I play Brooklyn Guy's wife too. Oh, God, I hate you. Okay, let me hear your Jeffy voice. <clears throat> What doing? Oh god, that's awful. Uh, I don't hey, even know. Hey, hey Pooby, uh, just put Brooklyn Guy down and you try to voice Jeffy. Okay, I'll try. Alright, so what do you want me to do? I want to hear your Jeffy voice. You might be able to play Jeffy. Oh god, okay. Um, What doing? Uh, uh, want to see my pencil? That's perfect! What? Alright, Lance, uh, Pooby's gonna play Jeffy. You're just gonna replace me like that? Oh, you know how he gets whenever I try to play his characters? He gets all jealous. <laughs> Oh, Lance, Lance, don't cry! Jeez, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, let's go Let's go talk to him. Uh, Ugh, stupid lake. Lance, why are you throwing rocks at the lake? I'm finished. My voice is gone from playing Jeffy. It's never coming back. Oh my god, he's such a drama queen. I can go to the store for tea and honey for your voice. That doesn't work. None of your spiritual stuff works. All right, Lance, look, you've lost your voice playing Jeffy before. It'll, it'll come back. Not like this. This time I'm done. I think I'm gonna retire. What? Retire? Oh my god, does this mean I can finally play his characters? Logan, is he serious? Yeah, I'm serious. Look, I can do a mean Mr. Goodman. Check it out. Breaking news, okay? Oh, that's oh, perfect. Wow. I like yeah. that. Oh, let's, let's, go, let's go film. Yeah. So I really get to play Jeffy? Yeah, your voice sounds just like Jeffy. The fans won't tell the difference. Awesome. I've always wanted to play him. All right, so this is what's going to happen in the scene. So you're going to play Jeffy, and you're going to go, Oh, I got my voice back. Oh. And then Brooklyn Guy, ooh, ooh, can you play Brooklyn Guy and Jeffy at the same time? <laughs> can I play Brooklyn Guy and Jeffy at the same time? Of course I can. I can. I'm Pooby. You see how long these arms are for some reason? I can do anything. I'm like Dr. Octopus over here. Except I only have the two arms and they're not made of metal. And I'm not Alfred Molina. I'm Pooby. So I don't really know why I said all that. Well, look, look just, just grab Jeffy. Grab Logan Guy. Let's get this scene. Okay. Go. Hey, Daddy, my voice came back. Whoa, his voice came back. His voice is back. It's a miracle. We're so glad your voice is back, Jeffy. Well, I guess I did my job. So, Jeffy, you learned not to scream like that ever again. It could hurt your voice. I sure did, Daddy. Uh, uh. All right, guys, let's go eat some green beans. I hate green beans, Dagnabbit. Oh, you. Pooby, you have to watch this scene. It was so good. Oh, I don't have to watch it. I know it was good. Everything I do is gold. Your Jeffy voice is just so perfect. I know, I know. And hey, I'm not going to lie. I've been practicing for this moment. And just between you and me, I think my Jeffy voice is better than Lance's. It is better than Lance's. Why does Jeffy sound country? What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't get it. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't sound good. How can it not sound good? I'm Pooby. I can imitate any character. Name a character. Jar Jar Binks, off the dome. Got it. Misa Jar Jar Binks. Killed it. Logan, his voice for Jeffy is terrible. Jar Jar being spot on, but Jeffy is bad. Can you do her voices too so we can fire her? Oh, I mean, I could try. He can't do my voices. I'm a girl. Pff, move aside, chump. Check this out. I'm going to do Marvin's wife or girlfriend or whatever she is now. Oh, Marvin, we should let Jeffy do things. Eh. Okay, well, you can't do Broken Guy's wife. Pff, that's even easier. Boiny! Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> You're so good, Pooby. Oh, okay, uh, can you do uh, Chef Pee's voice? Oh, yeah. Junior! Okay, I'm firing Lavelle. It's just gonna be me and you, buddy. Me and you against the world. We're, we're gonna do all these videos. All right, let's get the next scene. Uh, uh, hold on, Logan. You know what else I can do? What? what? No, you can't do that. Oh, yeah, I can do it. Well, you, you can't do that? Yep, I can hold the camera, too. Oh, well, uh, you can't play Marvin. Oh, Je Jeffy, oh, stop it! Uh -huh. No! You can't do this! You can't take everyone's characters! Oh, I can. And I did. Now get out of here. Uh -huh. I'm gonna change the name of the channel to Super Pooby Pooby! It's gonna be SPP now! <laughs> hey, Elena. Don't talk to me, Logan! I don't want my job back, even if you beg me! Well, look. Pooby just fired me. Pooby fired you? Yeah, it turns out he can hold the camera and play my characters. Ha! Well, this is serious. He's going to take over the channel. I don't think that he can play all our characters and film it all and edit it all. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't think Poopy could do that either. Hey, losers. Check this out. Oh, I'm Marvin. Let me stop it. And I'm filming it. Your careers are over, chumps. God, I never thought Poopy was such a jerk. I know. He really is. Well, what are we going to do? We can't let him take over the channels. Oh, we should call the cops. He plays the cops. Oh, you're right. He does. Oh, we can, uh, we can call Lance. Lance plays a cop. Oh, his voice is gone. What are we gonna do? Logan, it's your house. We can just walk in. Uh, you're right! Let's just walk in and let's take the channel back! Okay. Okay, where do you think he's at? 
And go. Dude, Daniel, you don't like green beans. Jimmy, stop it. Man, I am killing it today. I think he's upstairs. Okay, let's go upstairs and try to ruin his filming. All right, next scene. And go. I don't want to eat green beans, Daddy. Oh, Jeffy, you got to eat your green beans. Oh, Margaret, let him do what he wants to do. Oh my god, I'm controlling three characters at the same time. I even have one on my foot. I am a god. Hey, Pooby. Uh, what do you want, loser? Hold on, let me put my puppets down. All right, what do you want? And make it quick, because I gotta finish filming this video, I have to edit it and upload it tonight. Well, me and Elena were talking, and we decided that you can't do this. <laughs> Are you sure? Because it looks like I'm already doing it. Well, you might be doing it, but the fans aren't gonna like it. They're gonna hate that you're playing every character. Are you completely sure about that? I'm 100% sure about that. Huh, okay. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna finish this video, and then I'm gonna upload it. And if the fans hate it, then we'll just go back to the way things were. But, if the fans love this video, then you and Elena have to quit forever! <laughs> That's a deal. What? I didn't agree to this! Look, the fans are gonna hate it. It sucks. Let's make the deal. Alright, it's a deal. Alright, shake on it. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go edit. I, I don't know how to do that, but I'm gonna figure it out! Alright, I uploaded the video, and it already has 10 million views and 10 million likes. 10 million views and 10 million likes?! None of our videos ever got that many likes! How is that even possible? Cause my shit don't stink, brah! All I make is hits! Well, let me see this video! Okay, but get ready for your eyes to melt from all the awesomeness! Hey, Jeffy, how was school today? Oh, it was great, Daddy! I got an F on my report card! Ooh, boy, you got an F! Oh, you're gonna get it now! You're grounded! Oh, Marvin, an F just means that he's doing fantastic! Exactly, Daddy! <clears throat> oh, cut? All right, that was great. It was perfect. Oh, I'm on fire! Huh? So, what do you think? That wasn't even good. It was only 23 seconds long. No, 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 no. The comments say otherwise. Let's take a look here. Okay, Dylan says, Best video I've ever seen. I think Pooby should play everyone from now on. Well, guess what, Dylan? I am. That's exactly what I'm doing. And Cindy says, I honestly want a whole series of this. Well, congratulations, Cindy, because I'm running the whole channel now. Louis says, absolutely perfect in every way. Sorry, Logan, but I can't go back to your videos now that I've seen what Pooby can do. Hope you understand. Well, those are just a few comments. Oh, yeah? Well, Optic says Pooby's an amazing director. Oh, and look, this was totally worth watching. This is a masterpiece. This is such a masterpiece. This is beautiful. What an amazing performance by Pooby. Oh, thanks, Owen. Oh, oh, look at this. We need more videos like this. The acting is spot on. I'm shacking and crying right now. 10, 10, life changing. I changed that kid's life. And look, another 10 out of 10. Perfect video. Truly a cinematic masterpiece. Quite possibly the best piece of media I've ever seen from Super Pooby Poobs. Oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You ain't got shit on Pooby, so get stepping. A deal's a deal. Just like that? We have to go as a deal. Ha! <laughs> well, Elena, I guess this is the end of our channel since Pooby's better than us. I guess I'll move back to Maryland. I mean, you always move back there. <laughs> wait, wait, where's that noise coming from? It's coming from that closet! Let's see what's inside. <laughs> what? Pooby? Are you okay? Mm -mm. Wait, wait, wait. If Pooby's right here, then who's that upstairs? I don't know! Wait, let's take the tape off his mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ow! Wait, wait, Pooby, what happened? Some maniac who looks just like me tied me up and threw me in here! Wait, let's go see who that is. Wait, you're not gonna untie me first! <sighs> you did good, Lance. You did good. You made the entire crew think Pooby's an asshole. <sighs> That'll teach him for playing my characters. Ooh. Oh my god! Lance! Oh, rats! Well, I, don't, I don't understand. Why do you have a Pooby costume? Because I didn't want Pooby playing my characters! Wait, what are you talking about? Well, you remember when we were down by the lake after I lost my voice? You, you guys were walking back to the house, so I grabbed Pooby and I tied him up and I threw him in the closet because I didn't want to play in my characters. Then I went to the store and I got honey and tea, and that fixed my voice. I knew it. <sighs> Yeah, and then I was like, you know what? I don't want Logan and Elena hanging out with Pooby anymore. So I dressed up like Pooby, and then I was mean to you guys to make you guys hate Pooby. Well, then how'd you get the video with the 10 million views? Oh, I just photoshopped it. Hey, guys. Remember me? The one you left tied up in a closet? Oh, hey, Lance. Dick. Sorry, Pooby. No, no sorry, Pooby. This is a crime. Guys, let's all just calm down, okay? We have to finish Jeffy Loses His Voice. So, Lance, play Jeffy. What? Are you kidding me? We're not going to do this now. So, 
guys, what do you want to do today? Junior, there's this new TV show called Blue's Clues and we have to watch it. It's about this blue dog that like solves crimes and there's this guy who can jump inside paintings and he can talk to food seasonings and sometimes he even gets mail and he can talk to it. That's not a real show. Junior, I promise it is. Well, I want to watch it. Uh, help me find the remote. Okay. Where's the TV remote at? Where is it? What? Mm. Junior, the TV's turning off and on. <gasps> I got what? It. Why is it doing that? Is my house possessed by ghosts? Oh, dude, I'm scared. Oh, 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 no, there's a ghost in the house. Yeah, that's strange. It's day. Wait, wait, stop. I'm writing a letter wait, to Okay, well, maybe it was just a glitch in the TV. Yeah. Alright, I'll find a remote. What? Wait, 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 look, now the volume's going out. What? It has to be a ghost. Wait, 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 Jeffy, is the remote in your pants? No, I'm just rocking a full solid right now. Some people tuck it in their waistband, but I tuck mine in my collar. Wait, hold on. It is in your pants, Jeffy! Oh, honest mistake. I thought it was something else. <laughs> Alright, Cody, I'm gonna switch to the channels. Tell me when you find the show. Okay. Ooh, wait, Junior, the news! Breaking news, okay? Floyd Mayweather has made $100 million fighting Logan Paul. What? That guy got $100 million just to fight someone? I'll fight someone for $100 million. Dude, I'll punch Cody for $100 million. I'll punch Cody for $100 million. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my hundred million dollars? Where's my hundred million dollars? Yeah, that's like three hundred million dollars right there. Guys, nobody is gonna pay you a hundred million dollars just to hit me. Well, that guy got a hundred million dollars to hit someone. Well, that's because he's a professional boxer and he won fifty times. I'll fight fifty people for a hundred million dollars. Yeah, yeah, so so if I record Jeffy fighting fifty people, will he get a hundred million dollars? No, because he's not a boxer. Well, the Paul guy's not a boxer. He got money. Well, I guess that's true. Wait, so so if I record Jeffy knocking out fifty people, they'll give us a hundred million dollars. Well, I mean, if you show him the video, he might accept a fight. Oh, okay. Okay, so uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna record you knocking out 50 people. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I got my phone. Jeffy, you ready to knock some people out? Yeah, let's do it. Who's he gonna knock out first, Junior? Uh, Joseph, you up first. Wait, why me? I don't wanna get knocked out. Because, Joseph, we have to knock out 50 people. That's a lot of people. And plus, Jeffy's gonna split the money, right? Yeah, because you guys are helping me. That's a $100 million split four ways. That's $25 million. You're saying you're not gonna get knocked out for $25 million? <sighs> I guess. All right, so I want you and Jeffy to fight, all right? <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> Oh! Oh, you got knocked out! Oh, how's it feel to win? Oh, it feels great! First round TKO, totally called it. Oh, yeah, you're gonna fight someone else next. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna go fight Chef Peepy, all right? All right, let's do it. Oh, my God, this looks so good. Oh, I think it's missing a few more goldfish. Hey, Chef Peepy. Junior, why are you recording me? <laughs> oh, oh, he's out! Oh, he's out! Oh, oh, how's it feel to win again? Feels great, totally called it. Two times in a row, two KOs. Yeah, two and oh, two and oh! Oh, how'd you feel about that? It didn't really seem fair. He didn't even see it coming. You gotta watch out for that left hook. It's really powerful. Wait, while you're cooking? Yep, even while you're cooking. The first rule of boxing is always be prepared. Well, who's, who's he gonna knock out now, Junior? Uh, call your parents. Well, I'm not letting him knock out my parents. You're not gonna be letting him knock out your parents. It's up to you if your parents can fight or not. Well, my mom is pretty scrappy. Look, call your parents, and we're gonna knock him out right at the door. He can get two in one fight. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there, Cody said we should come over. Hey, you recording us? Cause I don't consent. I gotta warn. Oh, I've always wanted to be on television. Hello, world. My name is Judy. I'm single. What'd you say, woman? All right, Jeffy, go, go, go. Ding, ding. <laughs> Ain't nobody can hit my woman but me. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, 4-0. 4-0. Oh, 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 undefeated. Woo! Undefeated. Woo! Woo! Jeffy, how's it feel to be 4-0 undefeated? Amazing, Junior! Uh, are my parents okay? I didn't want to watch. Oh, they drop like flies. Uh, well, can we at least knock out your parents now? Or at least your dad, since you don't have a mom? Cody, trust me. If I had a mom, I'd knock her out for $25 million. Well, Junior, do you really think it's worth all the money to give 50 people brain damage? Yeah. It's $25 million, Cody. All right, Jeffy, you're going to knock out my dad next, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys, I'm Charlie, and today, I'm getting high! <laughs> look guys, look at how high I am! <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so funny! Alright, Jeffy, there's my dad in bed. I want you to put him to sleep. You want me to read him a bedtime story first? Yeah, read him the three little pigs. Alright. Well, the first little piggy built his house out of straw. And the second little piggy built his house out of bricks. And the third little piggy just hired me to stand outside of his house. Wait, what are you guys doing in here? Ah! Oh! 5 and 0! Oh! 5 and 0! Oh! Undefeated champion! Undefeated! Ah! Woo! 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 Did he knock out your dad? Oh, yeah, he put him to sleep. Dad, night, night. <laughs> 
He gave him that one piece with no honey mustard. No biscuit, no drink, he got ripped off. Well, who are you gonna knock out next? Anyone who steps in front of me? Well, well, Jeffy, you kind of been knocking out nobodies. Nobody's gonna think you're a real fighter. You need to knock out like a celebrity, somebody that everybody knows. But what celebrity is gonna let you knock him out? Uh, my dad was watching Charlie and Friends. What if he knocks out Charlie from Charlie and Friends? Wait, you really think he'd let you do that? Yeah, we just gotta find him. Well, I'm pretty sure he records his episodes in your house, so let's just go downstairs and get him. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're about to do your first celebrity boxing match. How do you feel? Feeling good, Junior. About to go 6-0. and oh. How are you feeling? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. Where's the crowd from? Wait, why do you have a box? Oh, I thought we were boxing. <laughs> All right, guys. And fight! Uh-oh. No, you just knocked out Charlie and friends. Well, he knocked out Charlie, not all his friends. Oh, Jeffy, you should have knocked out all of Charlie's friends. That would have been a lot of people. Oh, man. Well, who are you going to knock out now, Jeffy? Hmm. Well, we haven't knocked out my mommy and daddy yet. Oh, yeah, let's go fight your mom and dad. Well, let's do it. Th these aren't really fights. He's just kind of hitting people. It doesn't matter. He's undefeated. They can always hit him back. They're choosing not to fight back. Come on. Marvin, didn't I do a good job making dinner tonight? Yep, you did a really good job putting these pizza rolls in the oven for 15 minutes. Aw, thank you. Jeffy, time for dinner. Wait, Jeffy, why do you have boxing gloves on? Ding, ding, pop. What? Jeffy, you can't hit her like that. Ding, ding, pop. Ah! Woo! Woo! Jeffy is now 8 no. Who can beat me? Who can beat me? I don't know, maybe somebody who can actually fight back? Well, Cody, you just sound jealous. Look, we'll have to knock out 42 more people. W what, before he gets life in jail? No, before he can fight Floyd Mayweather and get us $100 million. Well, Junior, there's no way we can show him knocking out 42 more people. That would take like an hour. Oh, you're right. We need a montage. It's montage time! How many people did he knock out, Junior? I think he's 31 and 0. Oh great, he only needs 19 more. Jeffy, huh? do it. Okay. <clears throat> Ow! Do you give up? Yes! Oh, 32 and 0! <sighs> oh, great, now you only need 18 more. Where are we gonna find 18 more people to knock out? Breaking news, okay? There is a crazy lunatic that is running around and punching people in the face. If you see this man, call 911 immediately. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. 33 and no. Oh my god, Jeffy. Now you only need 17 more and you can fight Floyd Mayweather. But Junior, didn't you see the news? He's wanted by the police. You have to stop this. Well, no, we just have a few more and we can fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Junior, that's not gonna happen. There's someone at the door. <gasps> Jeffy, come on. It might be Floyd Mayweather. You can knock him out. It's okay. not Floyd. Hello, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, I'm looking for Jeffy. Oh, no, it's the cops, Junior! Oh, you can't arrest us now. We're so close. Okay, so he is the one who's been knocking people out. Yeah, but it's for a good reason. Don't arrest us. Oh, I'm not here to arrest you. I'm here to thank you. See, one of the people he knocked out happened to be my wife, and I've been wanting to do that for years. God, she is so annoying. But uh, why did you knock out my wife? Uh, well, because we want to fight Floyd Mayweather and be like him. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. I mean, he knocked out his wife, and now he's got millions of dollars. Exactly. So we thought if we could knock out 50 people on camera, Floyd Mayweather would fight us for $100 million. Oh, well, I mean, if you need to knock out somebody else, uh, if I get knocked out on duty, I get to go home, and I get a purple heart. So, oh, so Jeffy can knock you out? Yeah, sure. Why right, do it, Jeffy? All right, sweet. Ah! 34 oh! 34, no! 34, no! Who was at the door, Junior? Was it Floyd Mayweather? No, it was a cop, and Jeffy knocked him out! He did what? Okay, Junior, this has gone too far. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You have to be a part of it. You're next to be knocked out. Wait, no, I already got hit. Well, well, you have glasses, so you're like two, you have two sets of eyes, so you count as two people. What? No, no, Junior, it's your turn to get knocked out. But that's gonna hurt. I don't want to get hit. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna hurt, Junior, but you have to do it. Uh, no, um, I can find 16 more people. Um, where can I find 16 more people? Uh... Mm. Oh, the people watching this video. Oh, oh, yeah. You can knock them out. All right, guys, everyone at home, put your nose up against the glass, okay, of your phone, of the TV, or the computer, whatever your watch is on. Put, put your nose up against the glass, and Jeffy's about to knock you out. All right. <laughs> oh! You oh! just got knocked out. 
You just got knocked out. That's like a million and oh. Like, like that's like a million or two million and oh. However many views this video got, that's how many people Jeffy just knocked out. Oh yeah, Junior. And if you hit the like button, that means you just got back up and it didn't hurt and you're awesome and you have a lot of friends. But if you hit the dislike button, it means you have no friends. Yeah, if you hit the dislike button, that means you got knocked out and you have no friends. And you're and, not cool. And you're not cool. So if you hit the dislike button, um, you're dumb. But if you hit the like button, that means you got back up and you said that didn't hurt at all, right? Woo! Yeah, for sure, Junior. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we have all the proof we need to fight Floyd Mayweather. So, so let's call Steve Staleberger and get this fight set up and show him, show him all the footage I got. Oh, let's do it. Hello? Hello, it's me, Steve Staleberger. Oh. Maybe he'll get up soon, Jeffy. Oh. That was some hit, kid. Ow. What, Jeffy, you're not supposed to hit him again. Now it's going to take forever for him to wake up. Oh. 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 Those, those were some hit, kid. Oh. So why'd you call me? Well, me and Jeffy went around and I recorded him knocking out as many people as I could. He knocked out like 30 people on camera, but then he knocked out a million people around the world. He knocked out a million people? Yep, and he's never been defeated, so we want to fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Hmm, well, Floyd Mayweather's retired. What, retired? Why? Well, he just did his last fight, so he's done. Yesterday's <laughs> news. Well, then who can we fight for $100 million? Well, you could fight D-Money. He's never lost. Oh, Jeffy could definitely knock him out, right? Yeah. Oh, I can take D-Money. Okay, but I have to warn you. D-Money has knocked out more people than just an unexpecting old man on your front doorstep. Well, it doesn't matter. Jeffy can knock out anyone. I've seen him knock out a lot of people. Okay, I'll set it up for tonight. And whoever wins gets $100 million. Oh, my God. Jeffy, you're about to fight D-Money for $100 million. Yeah. Woo! $100 oh, million. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Living Room Boxing. We couldn't get a boxing ring on such short notice, so we're doing it in the living room. In the left corner, my left, we have, with a record of 65 and 0, weighing at 180 pounds, D-Money. Oh, 65 and 0, 65 and 0, undefeated champion of the world, 100 million every fight, 100 million every night. In the right corner, my right, we have, with a record of two million and no, weighing at 110 pounds, Jeffy! Um, my balls itch, and I can't itch them with these gloves. All right, boxers, please meet in the middle of the living room. All right, gentlemen, we're going to have infinite rounds until somebody gets knocked out because that's what the world wants to see. All right, get ready, gentlemen. One, two, three, go! All right, man, you ready to go? Let's go, man. Ooh, ooh, look at you. You're about to get knocked out, too. Ooh, 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 just got you four times. Ooh, 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 again. You ain't want this. Ooh, 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 ooh. come on, man. Fight back. What you doing? Oh, man, stop trying to hook me, man. Get, get on, man. Let's go. What you doing? Ooh, where, where am I going? I'm over here. Oh, look at you right there. Ooh, I'll stop, man. Stop trying to hook me, man. Oh, yeah, man. You're trying to kiss me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Man, I'm getting tired. Oh, God. I can't believe what I'm seeing here, folks. Jeffy just defeated the undefeated, well, now defeated, D-Money. How's it feel, kid? You know, it feels great. Yeah, kind of warm out in the beginning. I uh, had, to, had to throw up some blocks, and then, uh, then I kissed him. He wasn't expecting that, so I felt like I got the upper hand on that one. And then uh, I finished him off with a strong uppercut in the end, and there he is. Well, Jeffy, you just won a hundred million dollars. Oh, yeah, that feels good, too. But uh, taxes suck, so that's probably going to eat about half of that. But we'll be all right. Woo! Jeffy won a hundred million dollars. This is totally worth it. Woo! I'm just going to lay on my money all day. You mean my money? What, what are you doing here? Remember when he punched me in the face on the news? Uh, yeah. Well, my face is insured for over a hundred million dollars, so I'm suing you for a hundred million dollars. Oh man, we're gonna lose all this money that Jeffy just won. We just have to fight 50 more people so we can win this money again. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> Jeffy, they're still watching. Punch him in the face so we can win the money. All right.
Hey guys, what are you doing? Oh, Cody, did you know your mom's famous? Yeah, dude, they put her in a magazine twice. I didn't know your mom was a model. It's like a special coloring magazine where you get to color pictures of the models. Like, look, here's your mom waving her tail, and here's your mom just standing there. Oh, good. My mom's a hippo now. That's new. A big fat hippo, because your mom's fat. No, I get it. And your mom's still a whale. Classic. Yeah, because she's a big fat whale. Guys, I get it. Can we please do something else? Cody, why is your shirt so small? Oh, I got an extra small shirt to show off my abs. Here, peep them. Actually, this is a new shirt and it shrunk when my mom washed it, but it's still a good conversation starter. Cody, you have like a little black piece of something in your tooth. Wait, what? Yeah, like show me your tooth. Ah. Uh, yeah, you have like a little black dot, like a piece of pepper in your tooth. A piece of pepper? I haven't eaten any pepper today. Is it gone? Sure. Okay. You want to help us color a picture of your mom? No, guys, I said I want to do something else. Well, you can start by getting that piece of pepper out of your tooth. Wait, you said it was gone. Hey, stupid friends, lunch is ready. Oh, guys, Chef Bibi said lunch is ready. Let's go eat. Wait, Junior, is there something in my tooth or not? Whoa, look at these sandwiches. Dude, Chef Bibi did not make this. He got this off of Uber Eats, I can tell. Pardon my language, but pretty bitchin' lunch, Chef Pee, Pee. A friggin' goag? What did I do to deserve this? And what's this? Cheez-Its? Don't mind if I do. Let me just light one of these joints up real quick. Damn it! What's wrong, Cody? I think the Cheez-It was too hot. It hurt my tooth. Cheez-Its aren't hot. They have no temperature, Cody. Well, it hurt my tooth when I bit into it. Maybe it's that piece of pepper that's on your tooth. Wait, do I have something on my tooth or not? Yes. What? You said I didn't! I didn't want to talk about it anymore. What, what do you think it is? I don't know. Maybe a cavity? No, no, no. That's impossible, guys. It can't be a cavity. I brush my teeth two times a month. Once on the first and once on the fifteenth. I think you're supposed to brush your teeth two times a day. No, that would be ridiculous, Junior. That would waste too much toothpaste. All that toothpaste going down the drain would end up in the ocean. Fish don't have teeth. They don't need toothpaste. And dental floss? That would choke a sea turtle. No, thank you. Well, you're supposed to brush your teeth every day, Cody. Well, cavemen didn't brush their teeth and they turned out fine. Cavemen died when they were like 20. Yeah, from like falling off a boulder and getting eaten by a bat, not their teeth. Okay, well, I don't know what to tell you, Cody. I'm gonna eat my sandwich. What, do you guys really think it's a, it's a cavity? I think it's a cavity, Cody. Well, that would be really bad, you guys. If my parents find out I have a cavity, they'll ground me and send me to Europe. Send you to Europe? Why? Well, they say that Europe is full of people who have bad teeth, and that's where people with bad teeth belong. So if they find out I have a cavity, they'll send me to Europe. Well, then we'll never see you again. I know. This is bad, guys. Okay, let's call a dentist and get your tooth fixed so your parents will never find out. Okay. Well, let's try one more of these cheeses. Damn it! Okay, fine, let's call this dentist. Come on. Hey, Leah, somebody call a dentist? Yeah, Cody has a cavity. Hey! Hey, nobody has a cavity until I say they have a cavity. I'm the dentist. I have a degree. Do you have a degree? No. That's what I thought. Now shut up. How's my breath smell? Smell like onions? I didn't want onions on my sandwich, but they put them on there anyway. Nobody ever listens to me. Hey, you, you like onions? No. Let me see your teeth. Okay. Those are actually pretty nice. Thank you. Okay, but nobody has a cavity until I say they do. Got it? Now say ah. Ah. Uh... Oh, no, that, that actually is a cavity. Sorry, you knew what you were talking about. Uh, are you sure you're not a dentist? I'm not a dentist. Do you want to be my dental assistant? You're pretty good at it. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do you think we should do now? Uh, fix his cavity. Hmm, hmm, yes, I concur. Okay, so I could do one of two things here. I could use no pain meds and just drill right into your tooth, which would hurt really bad, but you'd be a badass. Or I could use pain meds and drill into your tooth, but you'd be a little bitch baby. I don't want to be a little bitch baby. Yeah, you don't want to be that, Cody. So no pain meds? No pain meds. Yes! Okay, but first we're going to have to bill your parents' insurance. No, 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 no. No, we can't tell my parents about this. Yeah, if his parents find out he has a cavity, they're going to send him to Europe. Yeah, he'll have to learn to say bonjour. That's France, Joseph, not Europe. Dude, that's still in Europe. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Gu guys, can we just focus here, please? Joseph's trying to say that Ratatouille was filmed in Europe. Well, it wasn't filmed anywhere. It was animated. It wasn't called Europea Tui. Well, it wasn't called France Tui either. It, it was just... called Ratatouille because there were rats, Cody. Well, I know that, but where it was filmed doesn't matter. It does all that matters. It was filmed in France. They were French. Wait, wait, which is in Europe. But no, yes. Y yes. Yes, it is. Yes. So shut up. Stop arguing about it, Cody. Wait. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Never does. Uh, are, are we still talking about teeth here? Oh yeah, we gotta fix his cavity. So if, he don't, if we don't use the insurance, how much does it cost in cash? Oh, well, it's gonna cost about a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars? We don't have that kind of money. Well, the medical bills cost money. This ain't Europe. Oh, okay, well, what else do you suggest we do? Um, let me see those teeth again. Uh, well, they do kind of look like baby teeth. I, I think maybe I could probably pull them out. Then you could just say you lost it. Well, Cody, you still have baby teeth? Yeah, I hit puberty late. What? Okay, so how much will it cost to take the tooth out? It would still cost about $1,000. What? We don't have that kind of money! I'm sorry, but dentists gotta make money somehow. Uh, I, I guess you guys could probably take it out on your own for free. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What? What's mm -hmm. going on? What? I don't know. This is weird. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving. What the hell was that about, Junior? I was agreeing. I was like, we can take it out ourselves. We don't need him. Why didn't you just say that? Why were you being all secretive about it? I didn't want him to know because like, I didn't want him to get mad that we weren't going to use him. What, why were you making such a big deal out of it? Just say Cody, it. Cody, how about this? We tie a string around your tooth. We slam a door. That tooth comes out. You just tell your parents you lost your tooth. Uh, okay. Anything did not go to Europe. Let's go. Okay, Cody. I have the string tied to this doorknob and your tooth. So when I slam this door, your tooth's going to come flying out. Okay. Did it come out? No, it just hit me with the door. I didn't slam it hard enough. <sighs> All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ow! 
Ow! Did it work? No! Dude, let me try it! Ow! You guys are just beating me up with the door now! Oh, the door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull its tooth out. Wait, what? The door doesn't have enough horsepower to pull your tooth out! It doesn't have any horsepower, it's a door! Oh, we should use a car! That's right. No! Let's go use a car, Cody. What? Okay, Jeffy, this is what we need you to do. We have this string attached to your car all the way to Cody's tooth. When I say go, you floor it so it pulls its tooth out. Got it, Junior. All right, let's go tell Cody what's going on. Okay, dude. All right, Cody, when I yell go, Jeffy's gonna speed off and pull your tooth out with his car. Are you sure this is safe, Junior? Yeah, it's safe. I tied the string to the tire so all the power can pull your tooth out. What, the tire? Go, Jeffy! Yo, Junior! Stop! <laughs> Ow. Man, Cody, that tooth is really in there. Junior, I could have been killed. If that string hadn't broke, I would have gotten pulled under the tires and run over. Dude, I knew we should have used rope. Oh, yeah, rope would have been a lot stronger. No, we shouldn't have done it at all. Man, Cody, your face looks really bad. Yeah, my face really hurts from the road rash. I mean, it looks better than the freckles. Yeah, you look like Freddy Cougar. Cougar. That's what I said. No, no, you said Cougar. Cougar Tui? Ratatui? What? What? No, guys, we need to get this tooth out somehow. Ooh, I got an idea. That isn't dangerous. Oh, I was gonna say we push it out of a hot air balloon. Ooh, Ooh that would be awesome. How would that get the tooth out? When you hit the ground, your tooth would fly out. On oh, impact. Yeah. Guys, come up with something better. Ooh, Joseph, you see that weight over there? Grab it. Okay. Oh, you're gonna like this one, Cody. It's gonna work. Okay, so we tie a string around this weight, and then we throw it off a balcony, and then the string's attached to your tooth, and then the weight from the weight pulls the tooth out your mouth. Now, now that, that could work. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Cody, I'm gonna drop this weight off the balcony and the force of it should pull your tooth out, okay? Okay. All right, here we go. Yeah! Cody, did the tooth come out? No, I think I broke my nose. Dang it, dude, this tooth is persistent. You wanna try the weight one more time, Cody? No! Well, I have no more ideas then. Ooh, I think I have an idea, dude, follow me. Oh, come on, Cody. I don't think I want to. Come on! Okay, Joseph, what's your plan? I hired a professional boxer to knock his teeth out. I mean, tooth out. Wait, which is it? Teeth or tooth? Tomato, tomato. No, no, it's not the same thing. One is more than the other. Yeah, I think you'd mean tomato, tomatoes. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, exactly, but I just want the tomato. Okay, you can eat after we fix your cavity. But no, I mean the tooth. Has a cavity in it. We're gonna get it fixed. What? Just punch me. Okay, uh, where's the boxer at? Uh, he's here right now. Oh, one second, I wanna get his teeth knocked out. Oh, he's right here. So, Cody, open your mouth. Uh, you see that tooth with the cavity in it? We want you to knock that tooth out. Okay, I've knocked plenty of teeth out. This one's gonna be a problem. All right, Cody, stand real still. All right, punch him. <laughs> oh, I connected that one. I connected that one. Oh, Ooh. Cody, you okay? <sighs> he did it. He knocked my tooth out. Wait, why is there two? Junior, did he get it? Uh, he didn't knock out the tooth with the cavity. Wh what? That means he knocked out my two good teeth? They're obviously not that good if they came out that easily. Yeah, they're also yellow. I wouldn't say they're good teeth. I think that cavity is making your tooth stronger. Oh, this is stupid. Just hit me again. <laughs> okay, did he get it? Uh, hit, hit him again. <laughs> oh, how about now? It's still in there. Hit him again. <laughs> okay, he has to have gotten it, right? Uh, do it again. <laughs> did he get it? And one more time. I'm starting to enjoy this, Joseph. Oh, me too, dude. Do it again. Hit him as hard as you can. It still didn't work. I can hit him again. No, just leave. Actually, 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 one more time. All right. Oh, that tooth is still in there. Dude, I think that tooth made of steel or something. Yeah, I just, Cody, I don't know what to do. Uh, I think I should just tell my parents I have a cavity. What, you want to live in Europe? I guess he really wants to eat those frog legs, dude. Yeah, whatever they eat there. We have frog legs here. You just want to see the pyramids. What? That's in Egypt. The Great Wall. Yeah. China. Uh, all right, listen, Um, I have an idea. I have some old leftover fireworks from the 4th no, of July. I no, can just tie a string no, around your tooth no, and no, on a rocket no, and shoot. No. Why? Because it It'll burn my face. A rocket won't burn your face. A rocket is really fast. So if I tie it to a rocket, a rocket will shoot up in the air and take your tooth to space. They're called fireworks. The fire will burn my face. Fireworks are really fast, Joseph. Yeah, they're really, really fast. Like, like the speed of light. You won't even feel it, dude. Yeah, it's so fast. Okay, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. Come on. Okay. 
Okay, Cody, I tied a string around this rocket and around your tooth. So when I light the rocket, it's gonna fly in the air and pull your tooth out. You know, now that I'm actually looking at it, I don't think I wanna do this anymore. Come on, Cody, the worst thing that could happen is that the tooth does not come out and the rocket takes you into space and you go see Jupiter. <laughs> I'd rather see your anus. <laughs> like, seriously, can we go to your room? Come on, Cody, you gotta do the rocket. I don't know, guys, I'm scared. Don't bitch out now. Yeah, you have big balls, Cody, I know you do. I mean, I have pretty average sized balls. Oh, come on, Look, are you gonna do it or not? Okay. Okay, let, let me light it. Joseph, back up. Okay, dude. Okay, Joseph, I lit it. Dude, this is gonna be so cool. He might die. I know. Yeah! Whoa! I don't think he went to space, dude. Uh, let's go inside. So, dude, now that Cody's dead, who's gonna be our third friend? I guess Jeffy. <laughs> what? Yeah. Cody, you're still alive? Damn, you still kicking, bro? Yeah. You were supposed to kill the Sim, not join them. Yeah. You're supposed to bring balance to the force, not leave it in darkness. I hate you. I hate you. Let me see your tooth, Cody. Yeah. It's still there. Not even the firework pulled it out. I almost died. But what would you see? Did you see space? I didn't see anything. My face was on fire. All right, guys. I think I'm just going to give up. Well, no, you can't give up. You have to go to Europe. Cody, I'm here to pick you up. Oh, my God, Cody, what happened to you? Uh, he, he fell in the oven, and it burned him up, and then it accidentally burned a cavity into his tooth. Oh, no. Cody, it's a good thing you didn't get that cavity from not brushing, or else you'd have to go live in Europe. No, he didn't get it from not brushing. He got it because the oven burnt it into his tooth. Uh -huh. Yep. Come on, Cody. Let's go back home. We're going to sue the oven company so Mommy can get paid. Uh, okay... What's wrong, Joseph? We're just such good friends, dude! I know! I wish we had friends like us! I know. Oh, we're such good friends. We're so rare! Time. Ew! We have a burn victim from a three-story apartment fire! Well, let me guess, he was on the third story? Yes, he completely got on fire, jumped out the window, and look, he landed on his fingers! Yeah, you never want to land fingers first. That's how you break your fingers. I was trying to catch myself. Yeah, I can see that. So, buddy, how much pain are you in? A lot. Hmm, well, that's not helpful. Nurse, get the Wong Baker pain scale. Alright, I got it. Now, sir, which of these faces represents your pain? Ugh, the crying one. Well, I don't see you crying, so you're lying. Sir, his tear ducts burnt off in the fire. Oh, okay. Well, I think we should probably do a skin graft. Oh, I already got one. Well, no, nurse, not a skin pie chart, a skin graft. Oh, okay. N no, not a skin bar graft, a skin graft. Um, let me look. Ugh. No, not a skin graft, a skin graft. What? Well, it's where you take new skin and you graft it onto his body. Ew! Look, just go into the skin drawer and get some new skin. All right, uh, sir, what color would you like? Uh, white. Ugh, everybody always picks white. Even Michael Jackson picked white. I'll go look. Uh, what's wrong with your head? What, my head? Yeah, you're bald. Well, I am losing a little bit of hair. No, on the back, it's really bad. Well, I do have a bald spot, yeah. Ha ha, bald! Well, you're bald too! Yeah, but I had hair before the fire. I'd rather look like this than look like you, baldy. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, all we have is black. Ugh. Mervyn, let's watch a movie. Well, what movie do you want to watch? I don't know. Well, you're the one who wants to watch a movie. You got to pick. Hey, Daddy. What do you want, Jeffy? Ha, I got your mustache. Well, Jeffy, give me my mustache back. No, ha, short. Give it back, Jeffy. All right, Daddy, here you go. <laughs> Mervyn, it looks like you have a unibrow. All right, everyone, <laughs> shut up. Ugh, there's someone at the door. Let me fix my mustache and answer it. Hello? Hold on. Let me just finish up this text. Okay. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Somebody made fun of me and hurt my feelings. <laughs> well, like, you were just texting, so it just seems like you're... <laughs> I'm so sad. It seems like you're crying for attention. No, I'm crying because my feelings got hurt. Well, come on and explain it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is he crying? Someone hurt his feelings. His name was Curtis. Curtis hurt his feelings. Well, his name was Curtis Furtis. Curtis Furtis hurt his feelings. Well, that wasn't very nice of Curtis Furtis. What did Curtis Furtis say to you? Well, Curtis Furtis was a burn victim, and he came into the ER, and he made fun of me for being bald. You're not bald. I'm a little bald. <gasps> <gasps> 
okay, you're really not that bald. Well, there's all kinds of mean things I could have said to the burn victim, like, you look like Anakin Skywalker after he lost his fight, or you look like Deadpool without his mask on, or you look like Paul Walker after the car accident. But I didn't say those things. I was the bigger man, and I ran away crying. Well, I think you should just not deal with that patient anymore. Well, I just came here to ask you how you live with being ugly and bald. I'm not bald. Uh, you're kind of bald. I have hair on the sides of my head. Marvin, if you stood outside in direct sunlight, you could blind someone. But I am not bald. I have hair. Marvin, sometimes at night I pretend you're Dr. Phil so I can get off. I get that. What? Dr. Phil is a very fine man. When he said, it doesn't matter how much you flatten a pancake, it still has two sides, that made me want to have sex with him. I do not look like Dr. Phil. I know, because if you did, I'd want to have sex with you. All right, let's get back on track. You are not that bald. I know, I just wish I looked as good as I did in high school. I had so much hair, I was so hot. Oh, the things I'd do to my high school self. I, I mean, I wouldn't do anything with my high school self, because he's in high school and that would be illegal and chronologically impossible. But if I was back in high school with me when I was in high school, I would probably still bang my sex ed teacher, Miss Thickums. She was in the last video. You should check that out. And the new gaming channel. We're doing that now. Anyway, I want hair. Well, why don't you just do a hair transplant? Well, I, I would have to do it myself because I'm the only doctor in town, so I'd have to do it like I did my own vasectomy. And let me tell you, it is a bit of a mess down there. Whenever I pee, my balls fill up like water balloons. That's not normal. No, it's not. I really got to get back in there and figure that out. Well, why don't you just go to a makeover person and get a makeover? Well, I don't know any makeoverologists. Do you? Well, Chef Pee, -Pee has a gay cousin. Ooh, did you say gay and cousin? and Chef Pee Pee, and has? Yeah, I can go ask Chef Pee Pee if his cousin will give you a makeover. Okay, do it! All right. Ooh, whoop it up the grease! Whoop it up the grease! Whoop it up the grease! Hey, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what's up, Marvin? You want some instant grits? I made them from scratch. No, I don't really want grits, and I don't think that's how you make them. I know how to make grits. I'm making them from scratch. This is exactly how you make it in a pan. Look, I feel like a southern black lady in the kitchen. Go and get you some grits. Go get you that bowl over there and get some grits. I know you look like skinny as hell. No, I, I don't want any grits. Listen, don't you have a gay cousin who's like a hairstylist? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Gay Tony. <sighs> gay Tony? Yeah, that's his name. He's gay and his name is Tony. <laughs> he told us to call him that. Well, can you call him over? Because I have a friend that wants a complete makeover. Oh, yeah. He would love to give your friend a makeover. Shit, I need a makeover myself. I'm looking dingy as hell. Look at my outfit. Goddamn. Well, why don't you just call Gay Tony over because we really need him. <sighs> yeah, I'll call him over, but I'm going to warn you. Stay five steps away from him. He likes to kiss all over you. All right, hold still. All right, Chef Pee called his cousin and he's on his way over. Marvin, I'm fixing it. Is she Marvin or is she lying? Uh, it doesn't look good at all. Oh, you bitch. Oh, why I ought to. Okay, hold on. Listen, the hairstylist is on his way. Makeoverologist? Yeah, that. That must be him. You just stay right here. Hello. Oh, my God. You must be Marvin. You must be gay Tony. Oh, what gave it away? My appetite for penis. Uh, excuse me, my bad. <laughs> Had a cough in my throat. <laughs> You little silly goose, man. You look so handsome. Cute. Oh, give me a kiss. We just met. Wait, I don't want to give you a kiss. Listen, I need you here for a makeover for my friend. Oh, I can't wait to do that makeover. I love doing makeovers. Oh, I wish you were the makeover, though. I'm not. I'm not. But he's upstairs. Come on. Oh, oh my God. I can't wait. Gay Tony's here. Oh, my God. I'm so happy to meet all of you. Oh, I love your necklace. Oh, my God. Thanks. Slay Queen. You're awesome. Girl, let me tell you about today. The hottest guy walked into my salon. I'm talking about a dreamboat, a real man. And he needed to use the bathroom. And I'm like, sir, the bathroom is open for business. Piss on my face already. <laughs> he just kissed me. I love that for you. I love it for me too. Now where is that makeover? He's right there. Oh my God, is that Dr. House? Oh my God, he's a real doctor, right? I am a doctor. A doctor, a doctor yeah. yeah. Oh! Bags. I can't wait till after this makeover. I might have to do him. Mm. No, thank you. I'm good. My hair's just a little patchy. Ooh, I love me a redhead. It's something fiery about them. Oh, likes a fire under my bottom. Like my herpes. Oh, I just recently had an outbreak. He kissed me on my mouth. Eee! Oh, kisses for everybody. No, no, no I'm no, good. You. Okay. okay um, uh, what do we need for this, uh... Just do over. Uh, so he, he needs his hair fixed, his eyes fixed. Do, you do, know what I need? I need a gay montage to think this over. Come on, let's get it started! A gay montage?
do? I'm so tall. Look at my legs, Marvin. Oh, my nuts. <laughs> I'm back. Oh my god, you have a little boo-boo. Let me kiss it. Let me kiss no, it. No, 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 no. It's okay. Oh, fine. Thanks for the legs, man. Yeah, no problem. I gave you two new legs, and uh, I can't wait to see the third one. <laughs> yeah, I do wish you would have helped me out more in that department, and I still have to fix the vasectomy situation. But hey, look at my mustache, Marvin. It's so fuzzy like a caterpillar. And look at my hair. Go ahead and touch it. I know you want to. It feels like a giraffe. Okay, well, you don't know your animals, but thank you. Yep, no patches! Marvin, he's so hot! What? You think he's hot? Yeah, look how tall he is! Yeah, look how tall I am, Marvin. Hey, how's the ground down there? That's what tall people say. We're both standing on the same ground. Yeah, but I'm further away from it, so I don't know what my next step's gonna be like, so I need you tiny people to tell me. We're standing on my couch. Yeah, that's kind of weird, now that you mention it. I mean, how big is this couch? I mean, if this were to scale, this couch would be fucking massive. Really, your whole house would be. How high are your ceilings? That's weird. Anyway, back to Puppet Land. Can you make me as hot as him? No, I'm busy. Oh, I got a grinder appointment with Enrique, my spicy little chorizo. But, uh, how are you gonna pay me? <laughs> with money? Oh, fine. Venmo me then. He, he didn't give me his Venmo. That's okay. I'm sure he'll remember. Anyway, I'm off to the strip club. Wait, you, you finally look really good and you're going to the strip club? Well, yeah. When you look this good, you don't have to pay to impress women. Well, then why would you go to a strip club? Those women only want money. Well, they're gonna want me because I'm so handsome. But like, I don't understand why you'd go- Just let me hop away! Why are you hopping? I haven't had legs in years. I want to hop. Short tip. Move aside, big spender. I'm tall and handsome. Oh my god, yes you are. What's your name, miss? My name's Stardust. Nice to meet you, Stardust. You are very attractive. I would like to have intercourse with you. For free. Oh my god, babe, with legs like those, you can have me. I have legs too. Yeah, but you're short. I am same height. And he has a full head of hair. Yeah, the hair, the hair, yes, that's right, I have hair. So come on, Stardust, let's blow this Popsicle stand. Oh my god, is your name Popsicle stand? Oh, I like where this is headed. Let's go back to my house. Honey, I'm home. Oh, Bunny, I missed you. <gasps> oh my god, Bunny, did you get a suit? Well, yeah, I did, but what else do you notice? Did you get a tan? Well, maybe a little bit, but that's not the main attraction. Oh, who's your friend? She's a stripper. Oh, where'd you meet her? At the strip club. Boy, I thought you were at work as a doctor. I was, and then something happened. What? I got legs, Karen. Oh my god, Boyd, where'd you get those? A gay man gave them to me, and now I'm going to leave you for her. What? Why, Boyd? Because I'm hot, and she's hot, and that's the way the world works. But Boyd, Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. I don't want to be with you anymore. <laughs> get naked, please. That stupid man steal my stripper before I get to see tit? <laughs> hey there. Do you see a man with orange mustache inside? He's on the couch with the stripper. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pow right in the kisser. Oh man, that was great. I didn't have to take my suit off. Anyway, you can leave. The post-nut clarity's starting to kick in. Yeah, you see tit before me? Hey, I did more than see tit. I motorboated. I kill you! What? No! No, what are you doing? What are you doing to my legs? No! Don't cut my legs off! He's cutting my legs off! You can't see it, but he's cutting them off and it hurts so bad! All right, sir, here are your discharge papers. Thank you. You sure you don't want that skin graft? Uh, no. My legs! Doctor, what happened? Some psychopath cut off my new legs. But, doctor, these are prosthetics. I know, but they look so nice. Well, you still look nice. <laughs> well, sir, sir, stop it! What are you doing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? I just, I'm hot now, I don't know the rules, I feel like I can do whatever I want, I'm sorry, okay? Just uh, please don't report me to HR. Actually, the HR lady is kind of hot. No, 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 don't, 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 don't do that. Well... No, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't report me. My legs! Hey guys, it's Logan. We officially launched an SML gaming channel. Go subscribe right now. We're going to be uploading gaming videos every single day, just like this Roblox one you see on your screen right now. So please go subscribe to the new SML gaming channel for new content every single day. Push, push, click the, click the forward arrow again, I guess. I promise you, I'm pressing it. I'm clicking the hell out of it. I fell. We're having a good time. <laughs> oh my oh, god! Damn, what the hell? Oh, what, what the fuck is what? happening, Joseph? Oh, we're gonna get beheaded. Know. Oh my god, it's Joseph! That doesn't make Help. sense. Help! Julia, you stupid friends! You loaded baked potatoes already! Oh man, I love loaded baked potatoes! Yeah, hey Junior, call my potato Herbie, because it's fully loaded. <laughs>
No, dude, I can't wait to eat mine. Oh man, I want some more sour cream for mine. I feel like you guys didn't get the joke. It's like Herbie fully loaded. There's a movie called Herbie fully loaded about a car that's alive. I think Lindsay Lohan was in it. Dude, there's something wrong with my baked potato. Though. Fuck me, I guess. What's wrong with it? Dude, it's like super baked. You see? Oh, that is a super baked potato. Yeah, that is one baked potato. Yeah, super lit, dude. Wait a minute. Chef PB didn't get us drinks. Damn him. Yes, damn your personal chef for not getting us drinks for the food he made you. Yeah, let me go get us drinks, guys. All right, guys, it's prime time. Wait, Deion Sanders made a drink? No, it's just the name of the drink, Joseph. Aww. It's some kind of sports drink that athletes like. Junior, we're eating baked potatoes. We're not athletes. Well, still drink it. It's good for you. I actually think I heard this drink is bad for you. Cody, athletes wouldn't drink something that's bad for them. Athletes don't do anything that's bad for them. Well, they get concussions. That's bad for you. Well, they wouldn't drink something if they get paid millions of dollars that would hurt them. Henry Ruggs got drunk and killed a woman with his car, and he made millions of dollars. That's one athlete who made a tiny bad decision. Oh, boy, I don't even know where to start. Listen, just drink it, because I know it has to be good for you. It's not. Gatorade's good for you. No. Powerade? No. Wait, then what should athletes drink? Water. Wait a minute. Why don't athletes drink water? Because it's disgusting, dude. I, I think they do drink water. No, they don't. I never see a commercial with an athlete saying, drink water. They're always drinking Gatorade or Powerade. Hmm. And I, after the Super Bowl, you never see the team dump a bucket of water on the coach. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that's true. And I've never seen a water sponsor anything big. So what if... Guys, I have a quadrillion dollar idea. What if we re-release water? Dude, that's a genius idea. You can't re-release water, it's water. Yes, we can. We can call it Water 2. Or the sequel. Water 2, the squeakle. And we, we put Alvin the Chipmunks on the bottle. What? Yo, or we call it H2O2. Ooh, that's fancy. I like that. Junior, H2O2 is hydrogen peroxide. Okay, then we'll call it H2O2, not hydrogen peroxide. It'll sell like hot. Cakes. Oh boy, hot boiling water. Oh my god, guys, this is a quadrant. This is a huge idea. Let's go to the drawing board. Oh yeah, we got to, dude. We're gonna be rich. All right, guys, the first prototype to Water 2 the Squeakwool is here. Junior, you can't sell this. Why? Because you don't own the rights to Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm pretty sure the whole world owns the rights to Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, dude, it's public domain like SpongeBob. No, it's not, and neither is SpongeBob. What? Okay, well then turn the ball around. Look at the other cover. Okay. H2O2, not hydrogen peroxide. Well, at least you can sell that as long as you take Alvin off. Cody, I'm not taking Alvin off. Alvin's what's going to sell the bottle. Well, you're going to have to change the bottle anyway, because I'm pretty sure this is just a prime bottle that you change the label on. No, this is a bottle I got made in a factory. No, I see the label behind you. Okay, fine, it's a prime bottle, but I dump the prime out and I put in other stuff. What kind of water is even in here? It's water from the sink downstairs. Junior, nobody's gonna pay for bottled tap water. But it has electrolytes, dude. No, it doesn't. It's just tap water. Listen, it has to be just water because it's water too. It's the sequel. What makes it different? The two, duh. Yeah, the, the big two. When people see famous athletes drinking H2O2, they're gonna want it. Imagine watching Patrick Mahomes drink it before the Super Bowl. Imagine watching LeBron James drink it before he shoots a free throw. How are you gonna get LeBron James? James to drink this. You pour it in his mouth? No, I mean, how are you going to convince LeBron James to drink this? I'll message him on Instagram and say, yo, Bron Bron, yo, King James, please drink our drink. I don't think he's going to answer. Um, I think it'd be better if Joseph messages him. Because I'm black. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just don't think LeBron's going to answer a white kid's message. Dude, he doesn't play in 1950s. I'm pretty sure he would have messaged you. Just message LeBron. But, bro, I messaged him like five times on five different accounts. He doesn't ever reply. Why won't he notice me? But what'd you say to him? <sighs> I, I'm a meat writer, but I'm no vegan. Sprite Cranberry is my favorite soda. <laughs> I try, I try. <laughs> you read too much, dude. <laughs> okay, so LeBron James is way too famous to answer our messages. So we need, like, another celebrity. Ooh, what about Tom Brady? Maybe he can endorse this. No, he's retired. And besides, he already has that TV12 bullshit. Well, Jimmy Butler likes coffee too much, so we can't ask him. We need a famous athlete that's not too famous. Like, super famous, but not famous. Like, mm. an athlete that still goes to Walmart. Well, do you know any Walmart celebrities? Hmm. Oh, that Caitlin Clark girl in the WNBA. Oh, dude, she's Walmart worthy. Yeah, she's really famous, but she probably still shops at Walmart. Yeah, I could picture her changing tires in the automotive section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, she's, like, really famous. She's, like, the most famous WNBA player. So she's, like, on the same level as, like, a Walmart manager. Yeah. Okay, well, how are you going to get in touch with Caitlin Clark? Um, I could message her on Instagram. Ooh, how about we just call her agent? Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, All right, that's a good idea. I'm going to go call her agent, and then maybe we can end up on The View and talk about our drink. Oh boy, The View. I can meet Whoopi Goldberg. All right, guys, it's ringing. Hello, Caitlin Clark's agent speaking. Uh, CEO of Water 2, the Squeakle speaking. Uh, okay, what is this call about? Well, we have an amazing sponsorship opportunity for Miss Caitlin Clark. Oh, that sounds awesome. What's the sponsorship? 
Well, it's the newest, biggest, amazing sports drink that's taken the world by storm. It's called Water 2, the Squeakwell, or H2O2, not hydrogen peroxide. Wait, wait, wait. Squeakwell, like Alvin and the Chipmunks? Well, we're not sure if we're going to keep that name because I don't own Alvin. Okay, well, what's your budget? Uh, hold on, ma'am. Let me speak to my CFO. Cody, what's the budget? What, I'm the CFO? Yeah, how much money do you have? I have like $20. We have like $20. We'll take it. The WNBA doesn't pay that much. Awesome. Okay, we got a deal then. We'll be right over. <laughs> Guys, Caitlin Clark's agent accepted the deal. Wow, that was easy. And they're coming over right now. <gasps> that, that, that must be them. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hello? Hello, this is Caitlin Clark. Hi, Mrs. Caitlin Clark. Oh, crap, I always wanted to meet you. Where's her $20? Oh, Cody, give her the $20. Oh, hey, here. Yeah. All right, so for that $20, what we want you to do is we want you to be the main spokesman for our famous drink. Cody, grab it, grab it, grab it. Oh, um, here you go. Okay, so it's called Water 2, the Squeakwool. There's Alvin the Chipmunks on it. Or it's called H2O2, not hydrogen peroxide. So what we want you to do is before every game, we want you to drink it. And in interviews, we want you to say that this is, this is the reason why you play good, and it's yummy, and you like to drink it. How is it? How's it taste? <laughs> I think she likes it, guys. It's the electrolytes, dude. Yummy. So anyway, I think you guys should just, you know, go make a commercial for us and tell everyone that you love it. Me likey basketball. I know, I know, big guy. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I don't know if she likes it or not. Let's go. All right, guys, let's turn on the WNBA and see if Caitlin Clark made a commercial for Water 2. Caitlin Clark doesn't score 17.6 points per game because she's good. She does it because she drinks water too. It's like water, but better. It's too good. Chipmunk water. Yummy. I like it. Guys, she did it! She actually made a commercial for water too! Dude, that was so sick! She said the name of the drink wrong. She called it chipmunk water. It doesn't matter what she calls it, Cody. It's still free exposure. It wasn't free. It was 20 bucks. Look, let's just watch her play basketball and see how she plays after drinking water too. And Caitlin's about to take a free throw. Oh, gotta take a sip of that chipmunk water first. And that's the spit tank. Spitters are quitters, Steve. Oh no, Caitlin's down. Guys, Caitlin's down. She's down. Dude, maybe she sprained her ankle or something. She was standing totally still. Uh, you guys don't think it had something to do with her drinking water too, right? I mean, it was just normal tap water. I don't see what could be wrong with it. Breaking news, okay? There's a boil water notice because there was a sewage leak into the water company's water supply. So make sure you boil your water. Oh no. Junior, didn't you say the water 2 bottle was filled with tap water? Yeah, what's the problem? What's a boil water notice? It means the water's contaminated and you need to boil it before you can drink it. Wait a minute, you can't drink boiling hot water, it would burn your mouth. No, not boiling water, boiled water. You drink it after it's cooled down. That sounds like a waste of time, just drink a ball of water. <gasps> Wait, I have another hit idea. This is a trillion dollar idea. We should sell bottled boiling hot water. What? Dude, that's so genius. You know it's you know you when you make mac and cheese, you have to wait for the water to boil before you put the macaroni in? Imagine you go in the fridge and grab a bottle of boiling hot water, it's already hot, and you just pour it in the pot. No oh, man, the convenience. <laughs> Junior, you can't sell boiling hot water. By the time people buy it, it'll already be cooled down. That's why we would sell it in ovens. You know, like in the grocery store, there's a bunch of refrigerators. We have a bunch of ovens just already hot, and you just reach in and grab your bottle. It would burn you. No, it'd be like in a Stanley Cup. A Stanley Cup? Yeah, like a cauldron. A cauldron Stanley Cup that's gonna cost more than the water. Well, listen, you pull the cauldron out and then you just put it in your refrigerator, it stays hot forever. It's not gonna stay hot in the refrigerator. With the cauldron that the Stanley Cup stays cold for 72, hot for 72 hours, cold and hot. This is stupid. Yeah, look, we'll, we'll work on those problems later because we have another problem because the news is on again. Breaking news, okay? Kaylin Clark has died from sepsis. She must have drank something yucky. Oh my god, Junior, we killed Kaylin Clark! Now calm down, Cody. How do you know that's our fault? Because she got sepsis from the water we gave her. How do you know she wasn't drinking out of the toilet earlier? What? Hey, we're suing you guys for killing Kaitlyn Clark. What? No, I'm out of here, dude. Yeah, I'm out of here, too. Oh, no, go, 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 go. I need you to go to court with me, please. I promise I'll tell him you had nothing to do with it. <sighs> okay. All right, we're ready for court. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will be hearing the case of Cody and Julia, who are being sued by Caitlin Clark's family for serving her a drink which contained contaminated water, which resulted in her death. 
Wait, wait, wait. Your Honor, don't say my name first. This was all Junior's idea. I didn't have anything to do with any of this. No, Cody, you said this drink was a good idea. You're the one who gave me the not hydrogen peroxide part. No, I told you that H2O2 was hydrogen peroxide. And I wouldn't have known that unless you told me, so you helped think of the name. Order, order, order. Listen, kids. Someone died here. You gave Caitlin Clark a contaminated drink. Okay, hold up. Water 2 is not contaminated. It's like water, but better. It's too good. Stop quoting the commercial. Okay, look, we filled up the bottles with water from the sink. I didn't think it would kill anybody. Well, obviously, you didn't hear about the boil water notice due to a sewage leak which contaminated our local tap water facility. I find you guilty of murder by negligence, and I will punish you very severely with a $20,000 fine. $20,000?! Good going, Junior! Junior, what the fuck?! You said you were gonna tell him I had nothing to do with this! Well, I didn't want to lie to the judge! You came up with the whole idea! What the fuck are you talking about?! No, I didn't! Listen, we have to find a way to come up with $20,000, Cody. How are we gonna do that? <gasps> Maybe that's someone at the door, trying to buy our entire Water 2 supply. Well, our entire supply? We only had one bottle! Uh, let's just go see who it is. Hello? <gasps> Uncle Ian from Alvin and the Chipmunks! Yep, yeah, that's right. It's me. TV's David Cross. Hey. You make this shit? Oh yeah, that's our brand, Water 2. No. No, see that? That's mine. That's the chipmunk. I own the chipmunks, okay? Let's go to court, come on. <sighs> order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boomer, and today we will again be hearing the case of Junior and Cody, who are being sued by Uncle Ian for trademark infringement when they sold a bottle of water that had a picture of Alvin the Chipmunk from Alvin and the Chipmunks on it. Uncle Ian, show me the proof of this infringement. Uh, look at the bottle. That's Alvin right there. Mm, let me see this bottle here. Yes, that is literally a picture of Alvin the Chipmunk from Alvin and the Chipmunks. And look at here, it even says the Squeakle. I'm sure that's trademarked as well. Then I find Junior and Cody guilty of trademark infringement and sentence them to pay $20,000 to Uncle Ian. Another $20,000?! Wow, Junior! Junior, what the fuck?! Now we owe $40,000! Listen, at least it's not $60,000. I don't want to answer it. You, you, you answer it. Okay. Hello? Hey there! I represent Prime Sports Drinks and you stole our bottle! Come on, let's go to court! No, I didn't steal it. I did. Order, 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 order! I am the Honorable Judge Poober, and today we will be hearing the case of... Uh, no way in hell. Junior and Cody again? What did you boys do this time? You're being sued again? I hope you have a lot of money. Well, it seems that you are being sued by Prime Sports Drink for stealing the Prime bottle and selling your own water to drink in it. Prime's lawyers, what proof do you have? Well, you see, the bottle's literally the same. They just put their own label on it. Let's see. Well, these really are just exactly the same bottles, aren't they? And look, Alvin is still on there. You haven't learned anything, have you? Well, Junior and Cody, I find you guilty of stealing a bottle design. Or really, just reusing a bottle. And I order you to pay the Prime Sports Drink Company $20,000. $20,000?! God fucking damn it, Junior! So you're not mad this time? Motherfucker! Fucking idiot! Stupid fucking moron! Why the fuck did you think that was a good idea? What's wrong? What's wrong? We owe sixty thousand dollars, Junior. Sixty motherfucking cocksucking thousand dollars. How are we gonna pay it, Junior? Huh? How are we gonna pay? You tell me. Bottled boiling water. Motherfucker! You're such an idiot. Look, there's someone at the door. There's someone at the door. Maybe that's an opportunity to make sixty thousand dollars. Or another lawsuit. No, there's nothing possibly we can get sued for. We already got sued for everything. Hello. Hey there. I'm with the water company, and I'm here to reimburse you for the day your water was polluted. So we're writing you a check for sixty dollars. Oh, I thought you were gonna give me a check for sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> no, that would be ridiculous. This is just sixty dollars. But uh, most of this check is blank because I was filling it out in my car, but I didn't know who to pay it to. So I just wrote the six in there. You can give it to your parents. Let them know that it's only for $60 and just have them fill out the rest. I mean, we're the water company, so we have plenty of money in our account. And we wouldn't even notice if a bunch went missing. But it, luckily, this is only $60. So you kids, just give that to your parents. Have a nice day. 
Junior, no! I already filled it out. Look, we got the money we needed. Junior, this is check fraud. It doesn't matter. The water company has so much money, they're not going to notice. You wrote $60,000 dollars. Dollars was already there. I didn't see that, but like the bank's not going to care that it says dollars. And for the date, you just wrote today. Should I put tomorrow? No way. And why did you write finding down there? Because it says Mimo. No, it says Memo, like what it's for. Oh, I thought they said Mimo like Nemo, and we had to guess the movie to make sure I wasn't a robot. You thought they put a captcha on the check? I don't know what they do. No, Junior, if we cash this, we're gonna go to jail. And why did you put my name on it? I'm not gonna go down for this with you. We both needed the money, so I put both of our names. Look, what's the worst that can happen? Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Pumat, and today, no. No way, not you two again. Oh no, I am tired of this. I sentence both of you to death. The world is a better place without you. Death? God damn it, Junior, you motherfucking idiot, stupid! So Marvin, what movie do you want to watch? I don't know, maybe we could watch- Marvins, can I please have some money? No, Dougie, why do you need money? Because the new Madden came out, and I want to play as the Kentucky Fried Chiefs as Patrick Mahomes boy. You don't need the new Madden, Dougie. It's the same game every year. They don't change anything about it. But you see, my bibs, this year's is different, because they have someone new on the cover. They always have someone new on the cover. That's what makes it different. So can I please have it? It's only $99.99 simple taxes and fees. Come on, Marvin. Buy your friend the game. See, I like what she said. All right, Dougie, if I buy you this game, will you never ask me for anything for the rest of the year? Well, you see, I also want to go to strip club, too. You're not going to the strip You know, I'm not giving you any money because you're going to blow it on strippers. My bibs, you're so mean to me. Go, Dougie. <sighs> He's so annoying. He's always asking for money. <sighs> Steve, baby. What's happy, Mammy? What? What's going on, Steve? Why'd you call me here? You called me here. Oh, yeah. I got some big ideas for this company, Steve. Well, Ronald, we don't really need big ideas right now. The company's doing fine. Yeah, but my ideas will send this company skyrocketing, Steve. I'm talking straight to the stratosphere, Steve. Okay, Ronald, what are your ideas? Okay, first, I was thinking we stop focusing so much on burgers and we start focusing more on computers. What, computers? Yeah, so I found out there's this company that's worth trillions called Apples. And guess what kind of product Apples makes, Steve? Oh, give me a hint, it's not Apples! <laughs> well, Apple makes computers. Where'd you steal my joke, Steve? How did you know that? They're a very popular company, Ronald. You own one, don't you? Well, yes, I do. Well, burn it, because they've been stealing their ideas from me, Steve. Guess what their laptop's called? A MacBook. And guess what our uh, most delicious, most popular burger's called? A Big Mac. They've been stealing my name right out of my ass, Steve. So. But Ronald, you don't own the word Mac. I invented Mac. So um. But what about kids named Mac? Kick sand in their eyes, then sue their parents for everything they're worth. Okay, but what about mac and cheese? That's a good one, Steve. Why are they even called that? They should be called noodles and cheese. Where do they get the name from, Steve? Me. Well, it comes from macaroni, which is the name of the noodle. So macaroni. And sue that asshole that sticks a feather in his cat, too. But, but what about macadamia nuts? I want you to sue the nut who thought it would be a good idea to steal my idea. They don't call me MacDonald for nothing, Steve. Ronald, your name is McDonald. Sue so Mickey Mouse. Now, Ronald, this is getting ridiculous. No, you know what's ridiculous, Steve? The fact that we don't sell burgers in India. I feel like that's kind of a missed opportunity. I dropped my beer bottle. But like I was saying, missed opportunity. Because there's like a lot of people there. And I feel like there's a lot of hungry people in that India. So why don't we sell them beef there, Steve? Well, people in India don't eat cows. Okay, throw some cows on a cruise ship and send them over there. No, Ronald, I mean they don't want to eat cows. They haven't tried my shit, have they, Steve? They, they, they haven't tried my shit, because if they tried it, they would love it. Because my shit good, Steve. I, I know it's My good. shit good, Steve? Ronald, they don't eat cows because it's against their religion. Okay, Steve, I got it. I say that we do a reverse Chick-fil-A campaign 
in India. I'm talking chickens holding up signs and shit saying eat more cows. That shit would go crazy. It would go crazy with protests. I like that, Steve. Protests mean change. So when I come back here, you better be showing me some pictures of happy beef eating Indians. Stay with me, Steve. Happy beef eating Indians. Good boy. Get to it, Steve. I'll get right on that. He's driving this company into the ground. He needs to die. I'm gonna hire someone. Oh, you sick asshole. Hmm, where am I gonna find a hitman? Hey, old man, move head, you're blocking tits. Oh, you look scary. Thank you. Now move head, you're blocking tits. Hmm, I, I was just wondering if I could hire you to, um, kill someone? Whoa, 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 dude, you can't talk like that out loud. The police will go crazy. If you want to talk like that, you have to speak in code, like, I want you to make that man swim with the fishes, or I want you to take out the trash. Oh, okay, I understand. Well, uh, can you, um, take someone out for me? No, I am no hitman. Plus, killing people is wrong. Oh, I, I just thought, you know, because you're, you're so scary and you were giving me advice, I, I assumed. No, I would try that guy over there. Oh, poor damn boom is that? Hey, are you gonna pay me? No, cause I ain't got no money. Well, then I'm gonna get off the stage. No, bring me that boomies back! Man, I guess I could just sniff the pole like a fresh sniff. <laughs> oh, it smells like shrimp! Excuse me, Mr. Dinosaur Man. What you want, old man? How would you like to make a million dollars? Oh, like the game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire where you answer all the questions? I like to choose C for all the answers. Final answer, did I win? Uh, no. Okay, well then I'd like to change my answer. B, final answer. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, well then can I call my cousin Doodle Ass? Because he the smartest person in my family. He did one semester of community college up in Pittsburgh. Okay, but that's not what I want to hire you for. And he can show you where Mount Rushmore is on maps. Oh, that's very impressive. And I think Benjamin Franklin was the first president. Oh, that's wrong, but okay. And Helen Keller flew the first airplanes with the Wright brothers. Look, I'm not paying you for information. I I'm going to give you a million dollars to, um... Take someone out for me. Oh, a million dollars to take someone out? Yes, exactly. Okay, well, who I got to take out? Ronald McDonald. Oh, Ronald Donald, the chicken nugget man? Yes, him. Okay, well, a million dollars to take him out. Sure, can I take him to McDonald's? No, no, don't do it there. Do it somewhere nice and private. Okay, well, if I'm gonna take some out, I'm gonna need some money, because your boy pocket in it. Oh, yes, of course. You need money for a gun. Uh, here's a hundred dollars. That should do it. Okay, you know, can I keep the leftovers, or do you want them? Oh, I don't want them. You should probably burn the leftovers. Okay, well, I could just eat them. Oh, dear God. Oh, I'm a dinosaur. I'm so hungry. Oh, oh, of course. That, that makes sense. Just burn whatever you don't eat. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to take out Ronald Donald and I gives me the million dollars. Yes, exactly. Okay, I'm going to go do it. Oh, that was easy. I don't even have to pay him. Listen, man, I don't know who the hell you are, but I really appreciate you taking me to dinner. Usually, I'm the one taking other people to dinner. Normally, okay. Yeah, man, I just want to take you out, no ditty. My guy. Hello, is there anything else I can get for you guys? Yeah, ma'am. Oh, well, what would you like? I'm looking at it! Uh, I'm gonna go get my manager. Ooh, threesome. Foursome? No, no, you could never. You, you would never. You'd never be crazy. No. All right, Mr. Muffin Man's, I took them out. Oh, you did? Yeah, they even ate all the leftovers, too. So where's my million dollars? Oh, well, do you have any proof? Yeah, my belly's really full. Well, that's not exactly proof. Okay, fine. I got one cheese stick left, but I promise I'll eat it. Wait, a cheese stick? Yeah, I took them out to Applebee's. They got endless apps. Oh, no, idiot. I meant take him out. I'm confused. I did. I took him to Applebee's. No, you don't take him out. Like, you know, mow him down. You ain't say nothing about no mowing. Well, that's what I meant. I meant mow him down. Okay, see, well, you didn't say that. You just said take him out. So if I if I go mow him down, you give me the million dollars? Yes. Okay, you want this? No, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want it. All right. <laughs> Look at this shit. I gotta tell Steve. 
Hello, Ronald? Steve, baby! You're still alive? Yep, still kicking! You know what they say? A big man could day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> that's not what they say, Ronald. I'm pretty sure that's what they say, Steve. Anyway, you will not believe what just happened to me. What, did someone try to kill you? Well, no, Steve! Why would you say something like that? Why would anyone want to kill me? Now, you remember that guy that took me out to dinner earlier for free? Well, now he's back at my house. Mowing my lawn for free! <laughs> Me! He's mowing my lawn for free! A billionaire, Steve! <laughs> Fire the gardener right now. He's mowing your lawn? Yeah, listen! <laughs> you hear that, Steve? <laughs> what a schmuck! Yeah, what a schmuck. Yeah, what a schmuck, Steve. So, Steve, I, I, I know it doesn't look the best, you know, since he's a, uh, Black dinosaur doing free lay before a uh, white clown. So I was thinking if he does a good enough job, you know, maybe I maybe I throw him a few bucks. Steve? Like maybe I throw him a few bucks, Steve? Should I tip him, Steve? Don't tip him. Oh, oh Steve, you old racist bastard! <laughs> Just like Grimace! <laughs> Fine, I won't tip his ass! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Dumbass! <laughs> Oh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhoods, I did it. No, you didn't. You mowed his lawn. Yeah, I just ain't weedy because you ain't asked me to do that. So million dollars, please. No, because you didn't do the job I told you to do. I did everything you told me to do. I took him out, I mowed the lawn, so I want my million dollars. I was talking in code. Listen, man, I ain't built the pyramids. That was the estheticians. What, you mean the Egyptians? Yeah, that's why I say it, because I'm smart. I can even tell you the capital of Greece. Uppercase G. See, you ain't think I knew all my letters, but I know all my letters and they sizes. Upper capes and under capes. And, and my favorite cape is Cape and Crunch from Pirates of the Caribbean. Bill. Oh my god, idiot, shut up. Listen, do you want the million dollars? The color purple's in the rainbow. I think. Wait a minute. There go some silver. There go brown. There's black. White. Gold. I think it's purple in there. Do you want the million dollars or not? Yes, I want the million dollars! Then I need you to take out the trash. Oh, take out the trash? Yes. Trash taken out? Yes. I'll take out the trash. Okay, good. Then you'll get the million dollars, but only if you take out the trash the right way. Wait a minute, Mr. Rogers. Are you talking in pyramids again? Yes. Well, well, how tall do you want the pyramid to be? You're not building a pyramid. Oh, thank God, because that would have been a lot of sand and soap. Just go, go take out the goddamn trash! Okay, I'll take out the trash. Trash taken out. Trash won't even see it coming, too. Just go! Okay! Jesus. God, I hope he gets it right. Steve! What, what, what happened, Ronald? Did you get shot? No! You're not gonna believe this, Steve! You remember the guy that took me to dinner for free and then mowed my lawn for free? Yeah? Well, now! He's taking out my trash for free, Steve! God damn it. Listen, Steve, I know you're racist, but we gotta pay this guy. We gotta put him on payroll. He's doing all my chores, Steve! Hey, you think he could whack me off, Steve? Nah, nah, nah. He, he wouldn't be in there. That'd be crazy. No, no. No, no. Ronald, are you, are you looking at the phone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid. All right, man, I took out the trash. You took out his goddamn trash? Yeah, that's what you told me to do. That's not what I wanted you to do. Listen, man, I did everything you asked me to do. I took him out, I mowed the lawn, I took out the trash, so I want my million dollars. So go to your pyramids and give me my million dollars. I wanted you to kill him. I wanted to pay you a million dollars to kill Ronald McDonald. I was looking for a hitman. Freeze, you're under arrest. Get on the ground. Oh, damn it. It's a good thing we were doing a prostitution sting in this strip club, Simmons. Yeah, mate. Now we uncovered this plot. Come on, Bob, you're going to jail. Excuse me, Mr. Officer Man. Yes? Before you take him to jail, so can you go into his pyramids and give me my million dollars? What, what are you talking about? He owes me a million dollars, and I think the only way he got some million dollars is because he be running a laundry machine. Do you know what he's talking about? Oh, dear God, just take me to jail. But, but what about my million dollars? But, uh, I know purple wasn't in the rainbow. Axe the audience! 50 50! Man, I hate game shows! Bam! Who wants to hear some Jeff?
Daffy Tunes. I've been in the beat laboratory cooking up some nasty beats. Now, who wants to hear it? No, Jeffy, we're really tired. Please just go to bed. Well, let me just hit this button 11 times. No, Jeffy, just go to bed. No, I don't have to. No, I don't have to. I don't have to go to bed right now. I want to stay up all night and play some Fortnite. I never want to go to sleep again. Go to bed. Don't have to. Don't have to. Don't have to ever, ever sleep again. For I'm going to eat lasagna and maybe a banana singing Jeffy Weffy Doodle all the day. Hell yeah. Thank you, Connecticut. I'll be here all week, fuckers. Ugh, that was totally righteous! Righteous totally, dude! Oh, Jeffy, please go to bed. All right, how about three more songs? No! All right, how about four? <laughs> Marvin, we're gonna need this monster to stay up with Jeffy all night. Yeah, just go ahead and open it. What's a monster? I want a sip. Uh, no, no, Jeffy, no. It's a very dangerous, scary drink. So when you drink it, it turns you into a monster. So you, you don't want to drink that. Well, you guys were going to drink it. Well, no, 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 we weren't. No, we weren't. Uh, Rose found it, and it's very dangerous. So we were gonna go pour it out so no one could drink it. Well, I'll pour it out for you. No, only adults should pour it out. So I want to pour it out. I got my way. I got my way. Jeffy, are you really gonna pour it out? Yep. Marvin, if he drinks that, we're screwed. He, he's not gonna drink it. He's not gonna drink it. He's afraid of monsters, and maybe he believed our lie. Hmm. Do I really want to pour this out, or do I want to turn into a big, scary monster? <laughs> Marvin, do you think Jeffy poured out that monster? Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> Jeffy, did you drink that monster? Does a rocking horse have a wooden pecker? Of course I did. You told me it was going to turn me into a monster, but now I feel like I'm the Flash. Jeffy, oh my God, he's going to be up forever now. Uh, Marvin, is Jeffy asleep? Let me check. He, 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 he fell asleep. He finally passed out. Oh, thank God. Okay, if we stay really quiet, then he won't wake up and we can go to sleep. Okay, Marvin. I'm awake! Oh. Marvin, quick, go answer the door before they ring the doorbell again! Okay. Hello? Hello, sir! I'm a traveling bell shopper, and I was wondering if you went to buy any bells. Oh, shh, please be quiet. Oh, sorry, I didn't know I was supposed to be quiet. Oh, your bells are really loud. Oh, yeah, they're the loudest in town. Let me show you what I got in stock. Oh, no, no, no. Check this out. Shh. Not really a bell, but it's really loud. It's a wind chime. What? Can you please put that down? Sure. And then, if you need anything industrial size, we have this great tambourine. What? Please be quiet. Please. It's so loud it broke my glasses. What? And we have a Maybell. Okay, okay, that's really cool. Can you, can you just stop, please? And then, if you ever have a fantasy about being a hotel man, check this out. Can you please stop it? So you're not going to buy anything? No! Wow. Wasting my time. Unbelievable. To make a living, you know. Give me my glasses back. Oh my God! What the hell was that, Marvin? It was a bell salesman. What does that even mean? I don't know. Did Jeffy wake up? Almost. We have to keep it down. Well, nothing else is gonna make noise tonight. We're gonna be okay. Okay. <laughs> Marvin, go fix it. Go stop it. Okay. All right, guys. Lizard guts is back. Heck yeah, it is. Best believe it, dude. All right, let's rock. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Man. My son is trying to sleep in the other room. Yeah, well, rock and roll never sleeps. Listen, if you don't stop playing that music, I I'm gonna do something bad. What are you gonna do about it, old man? <laughs> what? Hey, what? Okay, hey, get, get in the back. <laughs> Bro, that's my guitar. That's what you get for making noise. Well, I'll admit, that was pretty punk rock, but I'm still gonna tell my dad. <laughs> Marvin, what was all that noise? It was a kid playing the guitar. Tonight of all nights. Well, don't worry, I stopped it. Well, how did you get them to stop? I took the guitar outside and I smashed it. Marvin! Well, it was the only way to get them to stop. They were too cool to stop playing. At least Jeffy didn't wake up. Let's try to go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> Who could that beat? 
Hello? Hey, son, is this him? Yeah, Dad, that's the guy that smashed my guitar. Oh, so you don't want to like to smash little black boy's guitar, son? Shh, keep it down. It ain't no keep it down! The world needs to know about your racism! You like to smash little gay black boy's guitars because you're stuck in your ways. You want to hear your shoebox music. No, he's white. No, I ain't no, yeah, I ain't no he's white. Look, Lil Nas X is black and a gay rock star. Why can't my son be a black gay rock star? Yeah, you tell him, Dad. Well, listen, I promise you it has nothing to do with the color of his skin. Can you just keep it down and just be quiet? Look, I smashed his guitar because it was loud. What? Guitars are loud, you idiot! You, are you gonna get mad at planes because they, they loud too? Or, or crowds because they chill and they loud? No, no, I, I, look, what can I do to get you to leave? I need to be compensated for that guitar right now! Well, how much was the guitar? Well, we got it at a thrift store, so it was $40, but we got a 50% discount because I did a favor for the manager. I call it the mouth discount. Yeah, she know how to use her mouth to get that discount. <laughs> oh, all I have is a hundred. Give me Let's go, baby! I ain't got no cash! Oh. Who could that have possibly have been, Morvin? It was the parents of the kid's guitar I smashed. Why'd you have to smash the guitar? Listen, that's all dealt with. Listen, no more people are going to be ringing the doorbell, and no more people are going to be playing instruments. Let's just finally sleep since Jeffy's sleeping. Okay. Is that a lawnmower? No one mows their lawn this late at night, Marvin. Not those damn hunger dudes. Hi. Howdy, neighbor. What are you doing? Cutting my grass. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Well, just because it's dark outside doesn't mean the grass stops growing. Listen, my son's sleeping. I don't want you to wake him up. Can you do this like in the morning? No can doodly do, neighbor. See, I got to cut my grass every eight hours if I want to win next year's Lawn of the Year trophy. So you're not going to stop? Nope. Hold on. What are you doing with that bat? Going batting practice? <sighs> I got him to stop. Thank God. Maybe we can finally get some sleep. <laughs> Marvin, silence your phone! Hello? Hey, Marvin. What do you want? I'm just doing my pilot job, flying a plane. You know, those red-eye flights. It's actually pretty boring up here. That's why I called, so I don't fall asleep. Well, listen, right now is not a good time to talk. Oh, hey, I'm actually coming up in your neighborhood right now. You want me to fly as low as I can, see if I can buzz your house? Do not do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Did, did you see me? No, I didn't see you. Oh, hold on. Let me circle back and try again. Do not try it again. Go outside! Go, 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 go! Did you see me that time? No, I didn't see you that time. How did you not see me, Marvin? I'm in a giant plane. It's a 747. I can't believe you didn't see me. I wasn't outside. Oh, well, you want me to try again? No, I'm trying to sleep. Well, actually, I have to, because now I'm going the wrong way. So go outside! Go, 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 go! Did, did you see me that time? Yes, I saw you. Yay! Oh, damn it. See, now I don't have enough fuel to get to where I'm going, so I gotta go back to the airport. So go outside! Go, 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 go! What the hell was that? Oh, sorry, I, I kind of scraped your roof there. There's definitely some roof damage. I, I probably should have flown higher. Sorry about that. Hey, I can fix it, though. I do roofs. Well, uh, don't fix it. Just stop calling me and leave me alone. <sighs> I can't believe Jeffy did not wake up during all that. Oh, oh my God, the fire alarm. Jeffy, why is there a fire? Marvin, today's my birthday, and I wanted to make a huge candle and blow it out. So I'm making hot Cheetos. Well, blow it out. Well, sing happy birthday for me. What? Happy birthday? Uh, Happy birthday to you. Sing it louder! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! No, sing the real version! That is the real version! No, no, it's not! Sing the real version! What are you talking about? Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Cause today is your birthday! I've never heard that version! Cause today is your birthday! Blow it up! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go turn off the fire detector. Why was the fire alarm going off? It's Chef Pee-Pee's birthday. So? Listen, he was trying to make a candle. Look, look, as long as Jeffy is still sleeping, we're good. Let's try to go to bed. Who's on the roof? I have no idea. Chair uh, Who could be on the roof? Hey, Marvin. Shh. Don't shush me. Shoot, bitch. I thought you were supposed to be flying a plane. Oh, no. They canceled the flight because there was some structural damage to the bottom of the plane from where I hit your roof. Uh, speaking of which, I'm really sorry about that. I tried to fix it the best I could because I felt so bad, so I just kind of patched it with some scotch tape and wood. I really hope your insurance covers that. Can you just be quiet? My son's trying to sleep. Oh, hey. <laughs> Man, he's a heavy sleeper. Can you just go? Oh, yeah. But how cool was that plane, though, right? It looked cool when it flew over, right? Oh, it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. i never seen a plane fly that low. Yeah, you saw it? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what airline was I flying for? Like, what color was the plane? Oh, uh, uh, silver? No. It was bright yellow because I was flying Spirit Airlines. What other airline do you think would let me fly that dangerously? Well, listen, I'm sorry. I didn't go outside. My son was sleeping. And I didn't want to wake him up. What other friend do you have that would endanger the life of 200 passengers just to say hi? You're never going to get that kind of friendship anywhere else. <laughs> I can't believe Jeffy's still sleeping through all that. Okay, let's go to bed. Marvin, did you just turn on the TV? Oh, no, no, did you sit on the remote? No!
Breaking news, okay? A plane had to make an emergency landing after scraping the top of a house. In other breaking news, okay, a high-speed police chase ended in front of a house and the armed suspect has entered the home through a hole in the roof and police have the place surrounded now. Marcy, you don't think that's our house, do you? No, just look for the remote. The TV's really loud. Okay. Oh, it's right here. Turn off the TV. Okay. Okay, let's go to sleep. Nobody move! Oh my god! Freeze, you bastard! Drop the knife! Drop the gun or I'll kill him! Can you guys be quiet? Let him go or I'll blow you away! Well, you might as well blow me away, because I'm not going back to jail! <laughs> Sorry about that, Marvin. Yeah, shooting him's really for the best. It's, it's better than putting him back in prison and then feeding him for several years on taxpayer money until eventually we just let him go on good behavior and he maybe eat some money. Can you just please be quiet? Man, I'm feeling really pumped. I'm going to fire a few victory shots into your ceiling. <laughs> Oh, that feels really good. Oh, wow, your son's still sleeping? Yeah, can you please just be quiet? Oh, sorry, I'll leave. What the hell was that? Uh, nothing, Jeffy, just go back to sleep. Well, I'm not tired anymore, so I'm gonna take off my eyelids, and I'm gonna ride my horsey. No, Jeffy, go back to bed. Oh, my uh... God. I will never get some sleep.